Welcome to our video on how to open and interpret your Turnitin Originality Report. In this video, we explain how to open your Originality Report and check your text matches. When you have submitted your document to Turnitin in Wattle, you will then be able to open up your document and see Turnitin's Originality Report. To open your report, click on the title of the document you uploaded. If you have reloaded a document over the top of an old one, Turnitin will make you wait 24 hours until you can see the new report. When you open your document, it will show up as a blank document with a percentage in the top right hand corner. This number represents the percentage of similarity between your work and those that Turnitin has located online and within its database. The most important thing about this number is that it is meaningless by itself. This number does not tell you whether or not you have plagiarised. To use Turnitin to help you see whether you have used your sources appropriately, you will need to interpret each text match within your document. To do this, click on the Originality button in the top left. That will reveal the coloured text matches. If you scroll down the document, you can see the different text matches. In the right hand column named Match Overview, you can see the sources that Turnitin has found matches to. In the document, if you click on the number of one of the coloured text matches, a pop-up will show you the text that your work matches to. This is a useful step when you want to check whether your quotation or paraphrase is correct. In this case, we can see the words solar energy, wind energy and so on match to another source. If you want to look in more detail at the source, you can click on Full Source View and it will show you more of the source text. This can be useful to check for mistakes when you have a large text match. Often, Turnitin will show your text as matching to sources that you have not used, including student papers and websites. For example, here the student has used the source website Aussie Apples. The text match is to a different site called One Day Superfoods. Sometimes the source might have used different words to your quote. You can select the corresponding text match number. The column will change to show the match breakdown. Within Match Breakdown, click on the title of the source that you want to compare, which in this case is the website Aussie Apples. The highlighted text may change, and you can use it to check whether your text match is an appropriate quote or paraphrase. Here you can see that the quote is still correct since it is all highlighted. Your markers are also able to do the same thing. To get back to the normal view, click on the white arrow next to Match Breakdown and it will take you back to Match Overview. You can then use these steps to check the remaining text matches. It is useful to check each match and the resources on this site will help you interpret them to quote and paraphrase appropriately. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about how to submit your work to Turnitin or how to interpret individual text matches, check out the other resources available on this site.